guys back again with another video this time i'm gonna do shit products i regret buying so i'm just gonna smash through this video because i don't think it will take long to be honest i've only got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten i got 11 products today so i'm not gonna number them because they were all kind of sucked so i'm just gonna sort of get on with it so the first product i regret buying was back when i worked for avon i got these lip glosses and they're just so gross they're so sticky and i hate using them i have used that one a little more than i have used this one but they've both been used but to be honest i don't know why i don't just chuck them away or give them to my daughter because they're absolutely fucking shit and i regret buying them for sure <clears throat> the next thing i regret buying is some nail polishes these are just cheaper nail polishes that i picked up at the two dollar shop i think i picked up this one for my mum because she was going to a melbourne storm game and I think I picked this one up because I'm obsessed with pink nail polishes. I have about 50 of them. But as you can see, the purple one <laughs> doesn't actually open, which made it really hard to do mum's nails because she wanted a lightning bolt on them. And this one does open, but it's got a funky brush on it. And <laughs> I don't know if I've actually used it to paint my nails, but I should have taken it back. Regret buying that. Shit nail polish. But I have about 50 nail polishes. Okay, so the next product I regret buying is a Dove Cotton On deodorant. I don't know what it is about this deodorant, but it makes me stink. <laughs> I can't. I have to use it because I'm not a wasteful person, but it makes me stink and I can't wait for it to be finished. <coughs> so the next product I regret buying is a hair product. This is the Urban Fudge Straightening Mist with Heat Protection. I, ooh, it's also leaking. Ugh. I don't know what it is about this. I did like it at first, but I don't know, since I started using other ones like my uh, Tony and Guy heat protection mist, I don't know if I would go as far as calling it shit because I did like it enough to buy a travel size one as well for when I go on holidays, which is, I think that's not full. I think I refill it with this one, probably why it leaks. Give it a go, make your own opinion of it, but I can save me a couple bucks from the supermarket. It's not that expensive. Um, but yeah, I don't use it anymore and it's got quite a lot in it. So maybe that will be shown in my goo hoarding video as well. I've got it all over my hands. Okay, the next product I regret, I don't know if I bought it. I did buy it, but it came in a sub subscription box. It's the Inca Eyeliner. I don't know what it is about it, but it just, it doesn't draw that well. I know that looks really good, but it just doesn't draw that well on my eye. It's shit, I hate it and I probably won't ever use it again unless it's for like Halloween makeup or something like that. Another product I regret buying is the Cover Olay Tone Rehab Foundation Base. Um, I don't know what it is about this. Uh, liquid, it's a liquid foundation and they don't work well on my skin. Um, I find after an hour or so it settles right into my pores and my creases and it just looks gross after an hour or two worth of use. So that really only gets used in makeup challenges as well. Then the next product I regret buying, the next two are both model co, so I'm gonna do them together. This one is the Skin Perfect Pore Minimizer. I really don't like it. It says that you can put it on over makeup, but every time I try to put it on over makeup, it tends to make my foundation blotchy and terrible. Fucking hate it, so <laughs> don't buy it. To be honest, this was a complete impulse buy. I was on a catch of the day sale, and I'm like, Psh, I'll get that, it's so cheap. Let's just get it. To be honest, the Garnier Perfect Blur is so much better. I believe it's also cheaper. Can't go past the Garnier Perfect Blur. Next one is the Monaco Fiber Lash Extend Extreme Black Lengthening Mascara. Um, it is it is okay, but I'm an asshole and I keep touching my face and I keep touching my makeup and I find that the fibers tend to fall off my lashes and into my eyes and then I have big red puffy eye because I'm allergic to mascara for one, so if something ever gets in my eye, it just it turns out a big hot mess and I won't ever use this. I think I've only used it twice too. That was just such a waste. Both of those model, and I, don't get me wrong, I love my model co, but both of these products were impulse buyers. I didn't really need them and I wish I hadn't bought them to be honest. The next two products I have are both model prefer. So I was gifted one of their eyeshadow palettes and then I'm like, ah, I need more. So I went to Priceline when they were 10 bucks each and I went and picked up another one and I really wish I hadn't have because the colors are pretty much exactly the same as the one that I was gifted. And like, I don't even think, I think I've used the gold in this one once, but 
the other one has been used a lot more. The colours aren't that pigmented now that I'm a little bit more into my makeup. I prefer the bright colours and whatnot. So these are just useless now because there's not much pigmentation. But they are good for a base colour for underneath my whatever I'm doing that day. Okay, so the next product is the Model Prefer Brow Kit. I got this one in, I think it was dark. Yeah, medium to dark brown. And as you can see, I've only really used it once or twice. And I just didn't like the way it went on my eyebrows. I um, much prefer my Model Co eyebrow kit. I regret buying that big time. Well, there's my products I regret buying. Tell me what you regret buying in the comments below. Thanks for watching today, guys. Don't forget you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Also, please don't forget to subscribe. That would be amazing. It helps me out so much. Thanks, guys. Bye.